So you've got to, uh, this is really uh, not just garden, right? This is your outdoor all year long. This is a motion sensing light, big, bright, three big, bright lights from the name in lighting, Bell & Howell. They've been making award-winning lighting for over 100 years. This is the Bionic Solar Deluxe Spotlight Trio with motion. Now that's a lot, right? There's a lot in these. And today they're $19.95. So here's how you order yours. 766-552. Look at the big area that this will cover. You don't need a battery. You don't need an electrician. You don't need to plug this in and run a big long cord here. It's completely solar powered. Look at that big solar powered panel. And it's motion sensing and it's bright. And you can adjust where any one of these three panels is directed. Look at that nice big motion sensor right in the middle, 1995. This white has been very, very popular. We have it in black and we have it in gray. These will all sell out. We've been, we can't keep these in stock. $4.99, Lou, I've never seen anything like this before. I paid, I wanna say $59 for the one that I have in my backyard. Oh yeah. I've had to change sure. those batteries at least five times. Every time I go out to walk the dog, it's like, I'm going like this in front of the, I'm going right. like this, like, please turn on, please turn on. Yeah, yeah, see me, You please. never have, right, yeah, see me, see me. Um, you never have that with these. So whether you're, no. whether you need to light the backyard or someone's walking through your side yard or your front, it's gonna scare they're the fat guys. If they're gonna work, yep. and they're gonna work beautifully. Well, and here's what's crazy about this, Shannon. The reason we've never seen it is because we just started selling these last night. Uh, and they're just going like wildfire at this point. It's absolutely crazy. And I understand why, because there's a couple of unique features about these, okay? Um, you know, first of all, when you look at the panels on here, there's 120 separate lighting elements on these panels, 40 on each one of these, okay? So you're getting a lot of light. The fact that you showed this a second ago, that you can aim these, I mean, like you can get 180 degrees of light, because I could even turn these sideways and even toward the back a little bit. So, I mean, you can really put that light wherever you want it to go. The other thing is the motion sensing that this uses, it's not a normal motion sensor. It uses what's known as passive infrared motion sensing. Okay, now what in the world does that mean? Basically, it looks for motion, but it also looks for a heat signature. So if I walk in front of this and these lights turn on, and in fact, let's just do that right now. If I walk in front of this and these lights turn on, they're not just seeing my motion, like this guy came right on, it's reading my heat signature. It's measuring the heat signature of the background. And then when it sees an anomaly, like a person or an animal, it's going to light up. Now, here's why this is cool, though. You know, with a lot of motion sensor lights, you got to dance in front of them. You're constantly out here like, hey, stay on, you know? Don't have to do that with these. Because this one here in particular, I'm right in front of the, the uh, passive infrared. As long as I stand here, this is going to stay on. So I don't have to move around. Now this guy out here, I'm probably right on the fringe of it. It's, it's kind of like iffy with these two because they're on my sides. But as long as you're in front of it, and by the way, this works 25 to 30 feet away, you are going to have these stay on as long as you want. Now the minute I walk away though, they're gonna turn off after about 25, 30 seconds. See how that guy did right there? But the minute I put my hand out here again, it senses the difference in the heat temperature in the room and it goes on. And notice, I can aim these, so look how dark it got back there. But if I turn this one back this way, boom. Now we've got all this light back here. I mean, these things are just incredible. This is last night. They should be $42 and they're $19.95. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, you gotta get, I mean, think about, these cover a big wide area, but this is the day to get more than one. I'm thinking of my whole front yard, the garage area, now the side yard. I don't actually have any motion sensing lights in there. Ooh, shh, don't tell anybody. Um, because quite frankly, they're just really expensive and it's a little high to get up on a ladder to install it and then get up every other month to replace the batteries. No replacing batteries. It's very bright. And you said, Lou, that it will, it has yeah. a heat, a heat sensitive. So it's, it's not just gonna, right. it's not just gonna light up just for anything, right? For not for rain or snow or, um, or sleep oh, no. hail, but it will no. only light up for people or animals or anybody who's walking right. by. And then it's going to, um, it's gonna stay lit. I've never heard of that before with motion sensors. Well, and you know, you, you know what, you know where that comes in really handy. And this is one of the things that drives me absolutely crazy at my house is when my lights at my house in, at night will sense, let's say it's a windy night 
and they sense like the umbrella in the back moving or some bushes moving or something like that. And the lights are constantly going on and off all night long. Now, two things, one, it's annoying. Two, it's draining the batteries and the lights for no particular reason. When you've got the passive infrared, it knows the difference. It sees that and it goes like, you're not a person. You're not an animal. I'm not turning on for you. But somebody walks into your yard, you let your dogs out at night to go do their business or whatever, they're gonna light up. And like, see like this one here, you know, I moved my hand out of the way and it knew that there's nothing in front of me anymore. So I'm gonna turn off after about 30 seconds. That's what makes these so different. And I'm gonna show you something right here. I've got a couple of examples of other types of lights. And I know, I love how bright these are because you can absolutely see what I'm doing here in the dark. But like this light's got a cord on it and it's a motion sensor spotlight. But the problem is, first of all, one light goes in one direction. I got three that I can aim in three different directions. And by the way, I don't need to hire an electrician. I don't need to wire this. Or I don't have to have a power source wherever I want to put these up. I've actually got one of these on a tree in my driveway, which lights up the whole area. And I absolutely love it. Now, this one right here, these guys work great. Here's the problem. I've got to put batteries in the back. i got to remember this. I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast. You think I'm going to remember to put batteries in a light? Not happening. I'd rather let the sun take care of everything. You charge my light. You tell it when to come on and when to go off. That works for me. And again, the one on the front here, I'm not in its field of view right now. But the minute my hand comes out here and it starts to sense the difference in the light, well, you know what? I think I aimed this one too close to it. They also pick up the other lights. That's the other problem. But once I hit my hand out there, these lights are going to come on. And that's what's so cool about these is the way they can sense the difference in the heat signature. But you don't want to aim them at each other because when I do that, you're going to see they're going to turn each other off because they sense that there's a difference in the light right there. But these are incredibly bright lights, as you can see. Really, really bright lights. And again, you would think that these are wired because they're so bright but you don't have to worry about that with these. So I love too that they come with the stakes so you can put them in your yard, that right. you can put them in a tree like you did, that you can actually, once you once you affix them, wherever you're going to affix them, they'll stay there, but you can adjust it. There are a few different ways that you can adjust it. You can adjust each light in a different direction. You can adjust the actual sort of angle of the light, uh, up or down, depending on where you want it to go. Um, this is what it looks like in the back. Whoop. Notice that there's no place to put batteries because you don't need any batteries. Um, and then right here, see this? So once I, once I install it, now I can move this up or down. I can move this. You don't have to think, uh, I've, had to, I've installed these before and I'm like, oh, I install them during the day and then at night you're like, oh, right. doggone it. That's not facing the right way. Now I have to get up on that ladder and install it again. You don't have to worry about it. You install it and then you get to adjust it to exactly the angle that you want it. Right now we've got several hundred that have been spoken for at 1995. This is the black. This, oh my God, I said several hundred. <laughs> okay, several, okay, <laughs> a couple hundred or 4,800. Um, we've got the black, we have it in white, and we have it in gray. If people are choosing the color, uh, Lou, I th do most people like to choose sort of based on the color of the trim or maybe the outside of the house where they're putting well, them? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta correct you on one thing. It's not gray, it's brown. There's a brown one. So the reason, and the reason I feel like that's important to point out is that it, that if you have like, you wanna put it in with your shrubs, with your plants, uh, maybe you've got mulch out there, the brown's the way a lot of people like to go. The white, if you've got white trim, and like I have it in my house, a lot of people seem to, the white will look really good underneath your soffits if you mount them to the wall, that's gonna look great. The black, a lot of people have wrought iron, they have that sort of thing, or maybe you just don't care, you're gonna have it out someplace. This looks great, even on trees, this looks really good, the black one here. But the big deal with these for me is that brand new motion sensing technology, that passive infrared, but also the fact that you're not just getting one light here when you buy one of these, you're getting three. You can aim these lights in three different directions. Any other of the lights I've showed you here today, you cannot do that with any of them. With this Bell and Hell light, you can. And in fact, uh, this one right here, if I just take these, now look, when I have this full open like this, okay, this is all pointed forward. But let's say I've got this, you know, right now this one's staked in the ground. Let's say I want to light something over this way. I can do that. Let's say I want to light something way over this way. I can turn this one all the way back. And then let's say this is mounted over a door. Well, you don't want it to be shooting out, but you do want it to go down. Well, guess what? I can aim that down now. So you're going to be able to use these in ways you've never been able to before, where maybe before you needed two lights, three lights, one light is gonna handle those different directions. But I recommend get one for the front, the back, the sides of the house, you know, put them all over the place. And like I did, put them on a tree, put them on a fence post. You can put these anywhere you want on a shed. You don't have to have a power source. The sun is your power source. And that last time I checked, that was free. <laughs> 
That's right. Um, and <laughs> it is, it, it's constant, right? So these will, they're motion activated. Yes. They're not lights that automatically turn on as it gets dark. They are light when you need them, when you need them to scare a bad guy off, when you need them to scare the raccoon off, or when you need to walk the dog or go out and even empty the trash. Whatever it is, they're ready and you don't have to work. This motion sensing is so advanced that it knows the difference between uh, yeah. a dog or uh, a person um, or rain. So you don't have to worry about, and you're also, you're not worrying about draining the battery. There is no battery. This is a big collective solar panel right here. Um, we just got solar on our house this is gonna this is gonna rival that that's so big so whether oh, you're massive. staking this right whether you're staking it in the yard or you're putting this any place uh, where whether you're um you're affixing it to a wall anywhere you only have to do that once you don't have to be get back up on a ladder and change the batteries you're not spending anything extra no i don't even know how much those big giant d batteries cost um, and how many oh, well, i got one of those home for 40 dollars yeah. from the big box store and i got it open and i was like Wait, it takes six double, it's six D batteries? <laughs> like, that's more than the cost of just the, the light itself. No batteries, solar right. powered, three ultra bright lights, motion sensing, light where you need it, when you need it, and you get to choose where it's directed. 766552 is your item number. This price, honestly, the price is ridiculous today. This is yeah. like a freebie price, $4.99 to get it home. So as you're picking them up, by the way, the white and the black, I was calling this one gray, it is, it's that dark brown, kind of like a bronze yeah. color. But yeah. this is gonna stay on as long as you're near it, right, Lou? Yeah, it'll pick up your heat signature, and that's what I love about this. It does sense motion, but it looks for a difference in heat signature. So in order for it to turn on, it's got to be both things. It wants to see the motion. It wants to see that heat signature in front of it there. Once it sees that, boom, see the way that just came right on? Because it could see my hand was hot, and I moved it in front of it. You know, if you move this way across these, they're absolutely going to see this. But the distance that these travel, I'm in my studio now. I've got all the other lights off in here. I'm lighting up a real big area and it's good functional light, meaning like you could sit here and you could barbecue with this. You could, you know, sit there and, and have a conversation with friends outside with these, you know, or this is bright enough that when this came on last night in my house, my dog ran away. <laughs> she was like, what in the world is that? So, you know, if that goes, if my dog does that, I'm thinking a bad guy walking around the side of your house, they're out of there. They, they oh, want nothing yeah. to do with this. That's so true. <laughs> we need light, of course. Uh, what a beautiful and inexpensive way to do that Lou thank you so much this is a huge winner we're glad that you're with us yeah my pleasure absolutely I'll see you uh, next hour oh all right <laughs> All right, take okay. care. If, for those of you who are on the phone, stay there. Um, already thousands of these have been spoken for. We just introduced them last night and they're already on the lowest price that you could find anywhere. 